Furniture market here in Dallas, Texas is white hot and I'm going to take this piece of Bassett furniture that is just a bit outdated and see if I can flip it into something that's worth a little bit of profit. Let's go. I picked up this tall boy dresser from Facebook Marketplace. I paid $80 for this and it came with a matching nightstand. As you can see, this piece needs a really good clean, so I'm going to get out my simple green and get rid of all the dirt and grime. This dresser has a ton of grooves in it, so I've got out my special brush to get into all those cracks and crevices. This will ensure that there's no dust left inside of them and my paint will adhere nicely. The knobs on this piece, even though they're really dated, they're pretty cool. And I have a feeling underneath there is a big hole. So I'm gonna keep the hardware and see if once this has a new facelift, if I can make this blend a little better and not seem so dated. When I first got this, my thought was that I was going to, dog, was going to remove these and sand this down to bare wood and then paint the squares, paint the big square. That's what I thought when I saw the picture of this on Facebook Marketplace. But lo and behold, when I got this home, it's all plastic. It's plastic. There's no way to even get this frame off of here. It doesn't come off. Um, I could sand this down, but again, it's not real wood. So there's no point in sanding that down. What I have underneath there is not going to be pretty. And then this whole box, I thought about, well, then let's just sand the box down. But the box is all particle board. So, and I'll show you how I know that by looking at the back. Come back around with me and here you go. This is the back of my dresser. So this is all MDF right here. There is nothing worthwhile sanding down. And you can see it's all throughout the frame of this dresser. So kind of back to the drawing board. It's not gonna look how I thought it was. You never while I'm trying to figure out how I want this dresser to turn out, I know that it all needs a good scuff sand to get my paint to adhere. So I'm taking my three x four ray sander and 180 grit sanding pad and just making sure that everything is roughed up just a little bit so my paint will stick. I did discover that these little trim pieces around the edges were made of solid wood, so I sanded those down so I could add a little raw wood detail along the edges. Now that I'm done making a mess with my sander, I'll take some clean water and wipe back all of my sanding dust so my dresser is ready to paint. Now I'll take some painter's tape and tape off all of that raw wood detail that I just sanded down so I don't get any of my paint on it.
Now that I've got the dresser all taped up, I decided to go with the color Beaver Beige by Lily Moon's Opulent Collection. This is one of my favorite neutrals right now to use on furniture. I used it on another piece in my house not too long ago, and I really love how it just blended and pulled in all the other colors that were in my TV room. So I think it's gonna be a hit on this tall boy dresser. I load this paint into the top of my gravity fed HVLP spray gun and off we go. The Lily Moon Opulent Collection has a built in primer and top coat so that's going to save me some steps. I put two rows of tape on the side so I don't get any overspray onto the sides of the drawers. And then I'll use a leftover pizza box or Amazon box to do the top ledge just to make sure that I don't get any paint on the inside. This dresser took two coats total. I went back and forth a few times about what to do with the raw wood on the edges here. I tried out a few different stain colors and I really didn't like how they were looking with the paint. So I decided to do a really watered down paint wash of the original paint color so you can still see some of this wood grain to show through. Let me show you how I made this paint wash. I took the original color that I used on the body of the dresser and mixed about 25% paint and 75% water. I wanted this paint wash to be really light so you could still see a lot of that wood grain underneath, but yet take out some of the yellow and orange tones that are in that wood. Now that I have the paint wash just exactly the color that I like it, I'm gonna put it on with a trim brush, let it sit there for just a few seconds, and then wipe it back with a lint-free rag.
I scrubbed down the hardware to get off any dirt and grime and then I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint with some Rust-Oleum Champagne Mist. Now that my hardware is dry, I'll start piecing it back together. One last look at this boxy Bassett dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace before it got its fabulous facelift. Talk about a fun transformation. This guy went from a little boring to totally transformed. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Do you like it before or do you love the after? I'm listing it this weekend on Facebook Marketplace and I'm excited to see how it sells in my area. And as usual, nothing leaves here without my stamp of approval. Thank you so much for tuning in. All of my links for this week's video can be found in the description box below. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a flip and I'll catch you next time on Lemons to Lemonade Furniture.